Hey, 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 right, today I want to talk about earwigs and dahlias. For those of you that grow dahlias, you'll know how much of a pest earwigs are. For those of you that are first time dahlia growers, um, I hope you haven't experienced it, but yes, earwigs are a nuisance. I've struggled really badly this year with them. Um, I'm hopefully getting on top of it now, but last year I was absolutely fine. This year, for some reason, they've decided to take a fancy to all my dahlias. So I just want to give you a little tip as to what to do. The best thing to do is to make earwig traps. They're cheap and easy to make. I'm just going to show you now so you can see what they look like. This is an earwig trap. Just a little plant pot full of straw stuck into your dahlias. Earwigs are pretty much nocturnal, so whilst we're all sleeping happily in our beds, they are munching through your beautiful dahlia collection. And of course, that's something we don't want. To give you an idea of the damage they can do to your beautiful blooms, uh, take a look at this. Beautiful bloom, munched. Beautiful bloom, or start of a bloom, all munched munched, munched, and they've got to my favourites too. So you come out here, you spend all your time growing and nurturing them from spring, potting them out, all that type of stuff. You start to get the results and then you get munching. And you'll literally look at every flower and they've all been, not so much that one because that's on its way out, but you'll look at these ones and they've all got holes in, they're looking scrappy. It's not what we want on our dahlias. So I'm gonna give you just a very, very quick lesson on how to make a trap. They're very easy, um, but just gives you an idea in case you're unsure. So get yourself a garden cane, one that's reasonably short. You don't want a super long six foot, eight foot one. One that ends up being about half the size, of the same size as your dahlias. So, and then that will be stuck in the ground, like so. Get yourself little plant pot doesn't have to be big I've got a couple of different sizes but doesn't have to be super big get yourself some shredded paper straw hay anything you've got lying about but that we need we could like sleeping in put that in there like so and then all you do stick it on top of your stick that's all you need to do they like somewhere during the day to hide and to sleep so you need to come out probably twice a day once in the morning once in the evening shake it out into a take the straw out and shake it out into a plastic container get the earwigs out of it and then move them off to somewhere else somewhere completely different in the garden well away from your blooms and your dahlias then you can reuse your straw and your hay or your paper whatever you've used to put back in the pot um it's something you have to be religious about i was a little flaky at the beginning hence probably why most of mine have been chomped but i'm learning now so come out once or twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, and shake it out. I'll come back and show you uh, if we get any earwigs later. Back again. It's the following day, and I've just come out to see whether we've got any earwigs. So let's have a look. I've already taken a pot off from these dahlias that are right behind the camera. So this is the pot. Give it a shake out. Shake it into a pot because then it makes it easier to be able to get rid of the um, earwigs. We have. We got a couple. So, oh, we've got two in here. So, hang on. So, I'm just going to take the straw out, put the straw back in the pot. So, then I can reuse that. I can go straight back on. And I've got three. What a result that is. See, it's worth doing. I don't know if I can. Actually, don't want to hurt them. Because they're useful for something. Yeah, there's one. I don't want to obviously put them back in the flower bed, but there's three in there anyway, which is great news. So they will now go back over the other side of the small holding, right out the way of my dailies, and then I'll come back and check them again tonight. So success. So good luck, and let me know if you need any more tips. Bye.